Vertical tillage is a hot topic among farmers and in farm magazines these days. Many producers are considering vertical tillage implements or may have already bought them. I'm Deanne Presley, K-State Research and Extension Soil Management Specialist, and I have an ongoing research project comparing vertical tillage to current soil management practices. As the name implies, vertical tillage means that the components of the implement do not shear through the soil laterally, but rather enter the soil vertically, thus minimizing the risk of creating a plow pan. Most implements are operated at shallow depths of 2 to 3 inches. These implements shred crop residue into smaller pieces, opening them up to the soil microbes that break them down into organic matter. In addition, some of these implements smooth out and level the soil, eliminating small gullies called rills, and even smoothing out some ruts. Our research, funded by a grant from the Kansas Corn Commission, seeks to answer questions about possible benefits of including a vertical tillage pass in the current management system. For example, we are laying out an experiment in Atchison County. The producer, Chris Bodenhausen, owns a Great Plains vertical tillage implement, and we are comparing that to Henry Falk's spader blades. Mr. Falk invented and patented these unique five-sided blades, which a farmer can purchase from Mr. Falk and then retrofit their own disc. In addition, we have a no-till treatment in this experiment. Vertical tillage implements vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. However, some common features include discs that cut residue and some type of trailing harrow that either rotates or drags, which is used to anchor residue. The shape, angle, amount of concavity, and the amount of fluting vary a lot. For example, as you can see on the Great Plains implement, the discs are fluted, while the spader blades are not. All leave a lot of residue on the soil surface, and so we would classify this type of tillage as mulch tillage, which is one form of conservation tillage, since it leaves more than 30% of the soil surface covered by crop residue. Most vertical tillage implements are operated at a depth of 2 to 3 inches. Falk, a longtime no-tiller, hypothesizes that vertical tillage brings more residue in contact with soil microbes, increasing the amount of organic matter in his soil. Well, I was told a teaspoon of soil, there's more microbes in a teaspoon of soil than there are people on the earth. Of course, you all know that. And you just get a little of that dust up on them, and that residue decomposes so much quicker. Now, where Chris put a little nitrogen on here, uh, it's, that's like candy to them. They're going to eat this pretty fast. That is one of the objectives of our research, to measure the rate of decomposition and whether or not that varies among our treatments within a given experiment. 2010 marks the second year of this three-year experiment. In 2011, we hope to have five research locations throughout the state and to be ready to discuss our findings with producers. 